I need to hurry. Frau Beckmann said she will be waiting for me on the square at the top of the main street. Big day today. Hey, Dana? Afraid so, Herr Baumgartner. Looks like everyone left in a hurry. Oh my goodness, they must all be waiting for me on the square. Hmm. Not bad at all. I wonder if Papa would sell it in his shop, though. Goodness, a rock? Oh no, vandals. Are you alright? None for the worse for wear. What worries me is it's getting worse every day. That's what my father says. Never mind, eh? <laughs> Always look on the bright side. At least, it's prompted me to make some repairs that I've been putting off. Do you know who did this? I've got a good idea, yes. Good for nothing hoodlums. I see who you mean. They only feel big and strong when they're together, though. Right. But people like that can be dangerous when they're driven by an ideal. Especially when it's based on hate and the rejection of other cultures. And they hold no love for Vagarans, that's for sure. I'm sorry to hear it. Oh, never mind. We must all make do with our lot in life, huh? I'm sure I'll get by. Besides, what choice is there, hmm? Ah, enough talk of nastiness. Ah. I see you're carrying a music case. Would you be the lucky young lady who's to enchant our ears this year? I am. Um, and I should go. It's nearly time. Well, let me congratulate you first. Music is one of the few pleasures left to us nowadays. So, thank you, Fraulein. Thank you for spreading it around. Would you like to do me the honor of writing something in the cement before you go? I'll... I'll add the date, like they do in Hollywood. It's all the rage these days, you know. Well, I... Unless you're worried, it would make you late. All right. I will. Here you go. Ah. Perfect. A bass clef, drawn by the hand of a budding virtuosa. Very fitting, considering what awaits you on the square. Thank you, mein Herr. I really should go now if I don't want to be late at the Music Academy. I'll be listening from here. Thank you. Goodbye.
Is it that late already? Paul Beckman will kill me if I don't get to the square on time. Damn bloody Vagaran! The National Socialist Party of Ostertal. I think that's what Papa calls the Brown Shadow. Nothing but yobs in uniform, according to him. I'd better not hang around here. Guten Tag, Frau Beckmann. Ah, oh, Frau Rose, there you are. A few minutes more, and you would have been late. Please excuse me, Frau Beckmann, but uh, I was delayed on the way. May I have your convocation notice? Thank you, Fräulein Rose. Now, remember, performing at the annual Spring Concert is a great honor and rewards the best Music Academy student of the year. So it is imperative that you show yourself worthy. I will do my best, Frau Beckmann. The piano is ready. Make this day yours, Dana Rose. Everything's ready. All I need to do now is arrange my sheet music and begin.
Katusha's punk group. Would love to have seen them. Sleep okay? I'm like a bear. Yeah, I heard. Better get ready, Katusha. Mm, I feel like I've been run over by a tank. You okay? Sure. Digging an assault mine 12 hours a day in the hope of finding a fragment of ivory? Couldn't be better. Don't let it get to you. Maybe I'm a fool, Kate. Maybe I should have listened to my folks. If I had stayed in line in the National Choir like a good little pawn instead of forming an anti-establishment punk group, I would not be here now. I'm glad I've got you, though. Listen, Katusha. We're going to get out of here, right? Yeah, right. If you say so. We should get going, Katusha. I mean, what if the guard catches us slacking off when we should be ready? Who? Simona? She's no altar girl, but she's not the worst around here. True. But I will be ready in time to leave. I just want to get all the rest I can. Today's the day we're supposed to take over from Team Orange in Gallery C, right? Don't remind me. They say it's really tough. Isolated with no rescue party on hand. Which is crazy, because it's the worst gallery for cave-ins. Come on, Katusha. Better get ready. Sure. Okay. Five minutes. No more. Da? Da. Better not forget your good luck charm. Don't think I've ever seen you without it. That's all I got left. There's all Oscar's data inside. I was lucky enough to steal it from the militia soldier who picked it up at the frontier between Baraner and the Yakast. I just need to find a compatible body for it. 
That is, if I ever get out of here. you're here. Let's stay close, Katusha, okay? Team Blue! Hey, you've got mail. It's for you, Americanska. Thanks. No stalling you here. I... you got five minutes to see what's inside. Or else, a less friendly face will come to get you. This melody stuck with me throughout my childhood. I remember even my mother couldn't find out what it was called. It belonged to my mother. I used to play with it when I was a kid. Olivia Foster, New York. What could she have sent me given our dispute after my leaving with Hans? Strange. What? August 23rd, 2003. Dear Kate, wherever you are now, Despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time for you to make preparations to return to New York. Your mother, Sarah Walker, passed away last night at Mount Sinai Hospital. She had been doing poorly for several months and her death was no doubt a release. The funeral will take place Thursday, next week. We push back the ceremony so you can be with us. If I'm not mistaken, returning to the United States means you run the risk of having to answer to the law. Sometimes it's better to pay your debts to society instead of being forever on the run. And for once, just put aside those senseless, adventurous pretensions of yours. They've already cost you your friends and family. I beg you, Kate, please come back and say goodbye to your mother. Call me so we can organize your return in the best conditions possible. I've enclosed your mother's pendant. According to her, you used to love the mystery of its melody. I promised her I would send it to you. Call me for the sake of what's left of our friendship. Olivia, 212-359-1519. Well done, Donna, dear. I'm so proud of your concert on the square at the Academy of Music. We shall find a pretty frame for your diploma. Thank you, Mother. Once you've finished your studies at the Academy of Music next year, you'll be able to start higher education at the Paris Conservatory. Won't she, Anton? Of course. Of course. Then, my darling, you'll become a great concert pianist. You make us so proud, doesn't she, Anton? Uh, of course. Uh, of course! So proud. 
I can't wait to see the Paris Conservatory, even though I'll miss you both terribly. And it's perhaps not such a bad idea for you to move away from Wagen. Times are hard at the moment for people like us. <coughs> I do worry about your health still. Thankfully, Herr Gustav agreed to take you on at the mountain refuge this summer. Oh, yes. That mountain air will do you a world of good, my dear. By the way, did you write to Herr Gustav to thank him? Oh, uh, well, I was very busy rehearsing the concert, you know. The gentleman is offering you a job, Dana. Thanking him is the very least you can do. <sighs> yes, Mother, I'll do it right away. I should think you'll be needing a pen to write that letter, my darling. The diploma Frau Beckmann gave me after my concert on the musical square. Thank goodness she didn't mention I almost arrived late. Hmm. Maybe I could use it to write my letter to Herr Gustav. Dana, darling, I hope you're not seriously thinking of writing a letter to your future employer with that old pencil. Have you asked your father for his pen? Papa, could your pen be around here somewhere? Could be, I suppose. Close the drawers when you're done, little Miss Nosy. Papa is so untidy.
Danny Puppet, I'm busy right now. Dear Herr Gustav, I would like to thank you Piss for... Piss off out here, you filthy McGowan! Don't, 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 Anna! It's too dangerous! Oh my! What in the name of... Dana, darling? No, no, give it to me, please. Oh my goodness. What does it say, Father? It's nothing, Dana. Nothing but spite. Will they ever leave us in peace? Come on, Lena, my dear. Hey, come on. Look at me. Don't let it get you down. Huh? Or we'll both end up in Paris with Dana. Piss off out of here, you filthy Vagarins. Horrible! Kate, come on. We need to get to work now. That's it. I'll get started working now. You push the cart closer and come dig next to me, okay? I'm very sorry, love. But we'll have all night long to cry. You need to move the cart closer. All dented. <laughs> A fitting metaphor for all of us in here. I need a hand over here. Brakes are on. <laughs> what a surprise. So you can be with us.
I didn't see. Hey, look! Come on, let's go and see. That could be our ticket out of here. Let's check it out. Oh my god! Where did they come from? Must be something to do with the train. Wow, that's deep. <sighs> Can't even see the bottom. Yeah. And it means the tunnel on the other side is cut off. Must be the way out. I can see the light at the end. How do we get across that? I'm sure there's a way. Follow me. I have an idea. If we build up enough speed... We should be able to use the height difference on the edge of the precipice as a takeoff ramp to get to the tunnel on the other side, and then get to the surface. Sure, that is if you can get the thing started. Don't worry about that. Back in the days with my band, I always used to repair our old van on tours. Okay, but wait a second. First, I want to take a closer look at these bodies and maybe figure out what happened here. They were shot. In the back. Looks like Second World War uniforms. They belong to the Brown Shadow, the fascists who triggered the war before they herded up and massacred millions of innocent people. Full tank of gas. It looks as if they were headed for the exit tunnel. It's like they were ready to head out. Looks like they were in a hurry, judging from their position. I wonder how a bunch of World War II fascist soldiers ended up here. Right. And killed them just as they were about to ride out of here. One thing's for sure, though. We've got to give this motorbike a try. What? What are you saying? You mean you want to jump over the ravine? Exactly. But the keys aren't on the bodies. I checked. They must be somewhere inside the train. You go and find the keys while I take a look at this motor. Will do. You'll be okay? Don't worry, love. I'm sure this beauty and I, we're going to become best friends. This cave is reinforced by those old structures. Must have been meant to shelter trains. And for a long time.
Looks like it was caught in a rock slide decades ago. Crazy to think that no one's found it. Until today. More bodies. Looks like they were shot dead while they were eating. Another body, great. So this brown shadow officer shot his own men and then killed himself to make sure the train was never found by the Allies. Whatever it holds must be priceless. Strange, a hollow shape. There must have been something in it. Let's search somewhere else. Nothing interesting here. Major Sutel's last drink to give him courage? I don't think I can make any use of that. Nothing interesting here. distinctive symbol of the brown shadow fascists. Many countries have banned it, and that's just fine by me. One of the keys is still covered in blood. Must be the one for the motorbike. Shot himself in the head. Awful. Got him! 
It hasn't been started for too long. But leave me to it, and I'll see if I can get it going. If I can just get it to kick start, we might be home free. Anything I can do? We haven't got much time. No, I'm good. Why don't you look around? Maybe inside the train there's something that can help us once we get out of here. Okay, I'm on it. The key to the carriage. This carriage is more luxurious than the other ones. Maybe a dignitary's? Your chariot's waiting! Hey! What are you... <gasps> Holy crap! Wow! This is worth a fortune! I can't believe it! This is gonna come in nicely when we're on the road, babe. to think what became of the owners of all these stolen objects. A masterpiece. The brown shadow must have looted it during World War II. What is it? It's incredible. You gotta see this. Yeah, it's pretty well done. I like the color of the rock face there. Is that what fascinates you? No, Kate. There! Look! It's right under your nose. Dates from 1937, apparently, but I can't make out the signature. Cola? Coba or something like that? Anyway, what's so fascinating about it? You mean you can't see? Take a closer look. Sorry, you'll have to be more specific, Katusha, because I still can't see. Look again, there. The girl. She's your spitting image. Well, you really think she looks like me? Come on, you gotta admit it's incredible, right? Either way, I suggest you put it away. We'd better get going. Must be priceless. 
Now I understand why the brown shadow wanted to hide the train so badly. There's a veritable fortune in loot here. Kate, you gotta admit she looks like you. It must be a sign. Hold it right there, girls. All right. You've caught us. But take a look inside this carriage. The train is full of treasure. We could all escape with, with tons of it. Just, just look. Don't move. Listen to me, Simona. You've always been good to us, so why can't we help each other now? We'll be stronger together. <laughs> sure. You've been nice little prisoners. I have nothing against you personally. But... Why can't I... keep the treasure for myself? I could leave this rotten prison. Nobody will know. I could even say you tried to escape wouldn't be a lie. But Simona, don't! Don't take it personally. I just need a change of life. I think you can understand where I'm coming from. No! <laughs> <laughs> 